Stadium in Kansas City. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Hartman on the return. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. They often say you can't force situations. You just have to let them happen organically. And that's exactly what happened in Kansas City as Patrick Mahomes took over as the quarterback and has become the face of the franchise in the NFL as we now move into the 101st season. Fourth year in the league, already has an MVP, a Super Bowl title, and a Super Bowl MVP on his resume. Three huge games in the postseason last year, 10 touchdowns, just two interceptions, and two more on the ground. He just keeps getting better and better, and every time you watch him play, you want to see more. They'll run it for the first time with Williams, and to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. You know what the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen and then you do your blocking how about the read though by the defensive guys they weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage Mahomes firing complete and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds a gain of 13 it's a first down I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him so second catch on the drive he may not be a primary guy but they definitely want him involved don't they absolutely this early the opening drive as you said two catches so if they can get him going to the passing game that should open up his running game too they get 10 more there and I believe That'll be enough for another first down at will. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive going to plan so far. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. First and ten at the 26-yard line. Mahomes now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Mahomes to throw once more. This is caught. Watkins. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A 
looks good for a Kansas City. This passing has been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would to be pinpoint here. Was, I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. And that's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defense coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll run it with Williams. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four-down territory? Might he go for it? And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now, flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Now after the touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Now we get our first peek at the Ravens offense and at the helm, of course, the most valuable player of the NFL in 2019, Lamar Jackson. We've had dual threat quarterbacks in the NFL in the past, and we've had some really good ones. But I don't know if we've had one quite like Lamar Jackson. Led the league in touchdown pass with 36 last season. Set the all-time record for rushing yards in a single season for a quarterback at over 1,200 yards. And he led his Baltimore Ravens to a 14-2 regular season mark. Best in the NFL. The sky is the limit for Lamar Jackson. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now Jackson. They go screen. This is Ingram. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. To Mark Ingram. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Chiefs seven, Ravens nothing. looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Jackson from the shotgun. Caught right side at Sneed. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. It's a gain of six, but not enough as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Miko Hardman, pro bowler last year as a rookie, is deep for KC. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Now a throw for the All-Pro Kelsey is complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now Williams. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. 
throwing is Mahomes on third. He'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 24. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. They run. It's Mark Ingram. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Jackson. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back, and he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. They're going deep downfield for Boykin. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Here's Jackson on third and long. Flushed out right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Able to find a seam for 14 yards, but still now facing a fourth down after the scramble. Fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson flush to his right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Well, that's Alex Okafor who gets in to register the sack. Even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you pumped the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means it's got a better chance to be a block. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact that they went for it. To throw again on second down. Mahomes, that one caught by Tyreek Hill. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Mahomes now on first down. Gets this one to Hill. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And again, it's Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. The tight end, Kelsey, was the intended target. And it's third and short. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. So the incomplete pass on the last play. And that leads us to a third and three. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. An 11-yard pickup. And it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Damian Williams. 
as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Justice Hill on the return. The Ravens take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Returning it, Justice Hill. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Again, Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. Pass the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They have a first and 10 at the 18. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And you know he wants to make the most of every carry because he competes with his quarterback, Lamar Jackson, four carries and yardage. But Mark Ingram, over 1,000 yards last season. And then the Ravens went out and drafted J.K. Dobbins out of Ohio State in the second round. So now the Ravens potentially have two guys to pair with Lamar Jackson in the run game. Wishbone formation, anyone? And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Baltimore. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Ravens have cut it to within a score. Well, Lamar Jackson remembers seven rushing touchdowns in his MVP season of 2019, and he's into the end zone here as well. And when you hear that seven rushing touchdowns in 2019, doesn't it surprise you a little bit? Yeah, you almost expect more, right? Yeah, in your mind, you're thinking Lamar Jackson got in the end zone a bunch more. That might be what he does in 2020. And he'll bang that one through. So the drive there took six plays, and it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. First and 10. 
at their own 25-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. On play action, it's Mahomes. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Here a throw taken in by Watkins, and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 16 more on that one and another first down. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? That's caught over the middle by Seals-Jones. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. But so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off. On first down, Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 30 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The dangerous hill now to return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 22 yards. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? A really nice gain of 25 yards. It's worth noting when you talk about Jackson's running ability, the Baltimore wide receivers had just over 1,400 receiving yards combined last year. And Charles, that was the fewest yards by a wide receiver group in the NFL since 2011. And partner, I expect that number to go up this year. Last season, Lamar Jackson got very comfortable with his tight end group. In fact, he had one tight end and went to the Pro Bowl. But I think now, because of his ability to run the ball, it'll bring defenders closer to the line of scrimmage, and you'll see more big plays from the wide receivers downfield. He'll run it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Big gains in succession. Last one was over 20. This one over 30. Oh, Lamar Jackson just so electric, Charles, when he gets into open space. And we saw exhibit A right there. You know something? I'm standing up here in the booth next to you watching the play. He buckled my ankles on that one as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're actually on the field trying to chase him or you're just watching him play. This guy is sheer excitement. And he stopped immediately there. Tyron Matthew there to make the tackle. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. He's going to take off with it. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And the Ravens are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. 
In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. On second down, Ingram. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Ravens draw a bit closer. And Charles, when you catch that toss going right or left, really, but right in this instance, do you go straight for the pylon? Is that where you're going? Well, typically you want to try and maneuver Justin people a little bit so you have some space to get to the pylon. So I want to make sure I try and move them a little bit to the inside, and in this case to the left, so I can get to the right side and get to that pylon and wink at it as I go by. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Fielded in the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first down and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. gain of four. Brings up third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. That's good for a Kansas City Chiefs. But well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. A gain of six there on first. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get it out to mid... Field. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. On second down. It's Williams, and he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A gain of 13, it's a first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And not much running room, down to the 32. Now the Ravens gonna use one of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11, probably crashing the line here. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The Ravens gonna use the second of their As they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. And they got to get to the 23 here on third. Williams. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. 
As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that will bump the lead up to 11. Ravens 13. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, I mean, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball with you if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. One last shot for Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look,